I wish a good afternoon, good evening to everybody, and I welcome uh, to this session. I'm also personally looking forward uh, to the technical talks. Well, this is the end, you can uh, uh, scroll through. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I am uh, Julia Hoja. I am co-founder and CEO of Zana Technologies. And also uh, this year I have undertaken the role of uh, leading the working group health at the German AI Association and really delighted to, uh, to organize and host this event together with uh, Deep Medis and the, the other uh, really interesting speakers. So about it, uh, we can, we can go uh, further with some. So regarding the, um, well, I'd like to maybe start with, with a statement that uh, we are already witnessing how artificial intelligence is on its way to disrupt our future and, and our economy. And I deeply believe that is it up to us, especially in the rounds of, of uh, these uh, bright heads that are uh, assembled here today to take actions and lead the way to a positive disruption. And one of the platforms that is acting uh, in this direction and taking this action is, in my belief, also the German AI Association. Uh, we go next. Um, the German AI Association is currently the largest AI network in Germany with over 250 AI uh, member companies. And why it's important uh, in, in the work of this network and of this platform, it's the mission to strengthen Germany as an AI business location and to support minds such as the ones gathered here today and beyond in sharing the experiences and building their own uh, AI networks and further on to create awareness about new, about new technologies. And so uh, within the German AI Association, well, there is the working group health, uh, because healthcare is one of the key areas for AI application. However, we as young companies uh, are uh, encountered with a strictly regulated market. And so the, what we're doing, the working group health, and I encourage also others that are also uh, hearing us today to join us. This is a joint platform for everybody to identify and discuss the shared problems that we are encountering while bringing this technology to the market as with the new innovation. And also to highlight the potential of AI, but also to identify what are those political levers that we can um, basically act upon and we can move in order to ensure that we have a sustainable entry of these techniques in our healthcare system. So I really invite uh, to speak to me if you are interested to join this, this working group. And so uh, further on, uh, why AI and the trust in AI is, is, is important. While we see now as uh, uh, artificial intelligence is becoming an increasing uh, part and prominent part of our life, it's also important that we understand uh, the need that we have in order to trust these systems in how they make the decision and the prediction. So uh, further on, uh, Hussam, uh, however, the algorithms and the techniques still remain opaque. Um, we, and also the title of this event that we are still encountering this black box and how we can go beyond this black box. We still encounter little visibility uh, on, the, on the current techniques on how and uh, why the AI systems make the, uh, the decision. And because this also has repercussions on how the results are then applied in the various fields. And this is especially true with the techniques that we're mostly seeing in use right now, such as deep learning and neural networks. So the, why is this important? It's important because the lack of explainability hampers also our ability to trust these systems because we as humans want to understand how the decisions are being made. And this is particularly important when we talk about black box or opaque systems that have a profound implication on our lives, on our wellness, our life, and even death. And this is precisely the case with using AI-based systems in, in healthcare. So for me, uh, further on, uh, explainability of AI in healthcare takes three, at least three uh, different perspectives. And I'm going very briefly on the first two. In terms of the medical perspective, uh, I'll see two levels of explainability. First, the power of these techniques in order to explain or increase our ability to understand how the AI system arrives 
the conclusions in general. And this is precisely the case with uh, AI-based clinical decision support systems, such as diagnostic tools or laboratory testing, in, one, in, in which we want to understand to rank the features that actually play a role in that decision. And the second level, the ability to identify the features that were important for an individual prediction. And this is especially important if we also want to safe check for patterns that are indicating a false prediction. So, and uh, the, the other one is the patient perspective. This is, we shouldn't underestimate, this is also very important um, further on. Uh, why? Because we are always talking about having value-based care and having a patient-centered approach. And in order to have this patient-centered approach, we also want to have a facilitated shared decision-making of the doctor so that he and the doctor themselves understand why the decision was made by this system, but they're also able to uh, comprehend and easily explain this to the patients, how the outcomes are derived. And then we can go towards this patient-centered approach. And lastly, uh, the technological perspective. Me, myself, I have only an introductory welcoming talk today, and I will leave this very important feature on the technological perspective on how the explainability uh, technology works and where they're applied in the healthcare and medtech domain to the very interesting, uh, enlightening talks that we're gonna have next. So here I uh, greet you and look forward to the further technical um, discussion.